So I recently returned back from a trip to southern Italy. We toured the island of Capri, Sicily, and the Amalfi Coast. And the whole time we were there, I was shooting with breakthrough polarizing filters. Now, before we jump into the reasons of why or how to use a polarizing filter, please subscribe so you don't miss out on future tips, techniques, or product reveals. Now that we've got that covered, let's talk about the two main reasons why you'd want to use a polarizing filter. The first is that it cuts out glare and reflective properties. So large bodies of water, rocks, or even some leaves with reflective properties, that's going to cut that glare completely out. The second thing it's going to do is it's going to deepen your colors, giving you a much more rich and saturated look. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is it also expands your dynamic range in camera. By cutting out those top highlights, you're able to better expose for your shadows without blowing out the top of the curve. This is extremely helpful in high contrast images, such as a sunrise or a sunset, for example. Now that deep saturation is gonna be really obvious in your blues and your greens. So your skies are going to appear darker and the plant life will be much more vibrant. Now this effect can literally be turned on or off by simply rotating the loose end of the filter 180 degrees. These filters have two parts. Obviously one part screws into your lens and the other part is free moving. So you can adjust it according to your desired results. Now Breakthrough makes a variety of neutral density, UV, and polarizing filters. My favorite, however, is their all-in-one combination of a neutral density and a polarizer. Now this filter is key because it allows you to do two very important things. The first, it allows you to shoot slow shutter speeds right in the middle of the day. So this image, for example, I use their six-stop polarizer. This cut the reflective properties of the water and allowed me to shoot up to two seconds at f16. The other thing it allows you to do is take advantage of your prime lenses. So if you wanna shoot at f-stops like 1.4 during the middle of the day, sometimes it's simply too bright to do that, even at high shutters like 1 8,000th of a second. I prefer to give my images a little bit of movement. So I like to shoot slow at like 1 20th or 1 30th, in the middle of the day, I can't do that without a neutral density filter. Now, every polarizer, regardless of what brand you use, is going to have a slight tint to it. Breakthrough claims to have the least amount of color distortion. So I wanted to test this out myself. I had an older polarizer by another brand and I brought along a new one by Breakthrough to see if I could see the difference. After reviewing the images, I noticed that my other brand had a slight sepia tone it was very obvious in the blues. Whereas the breakthrough, the blue seemed much more true to life and accurate. The manufacturing on these filters is also slightly different. They're made out of brass, not aluminum. They're much more durable and less prone to getting dinged or crushed. Additionally, they have these really burly knobs on the outside, which make them really easy to separate when you're stacking filters. Now, if there's a product you'd like us to look into or any tips or techniques you're interested in, please leave a comment below. And as always, please subscribe.